Now that we have the book put together, we're ready to work on the inside pages. We're going to open up this first page. And this is what it looks like. In your kit, you had three scalloped edged pages. And if you line them up, you'll see that they go in order. And we're going to use them in that order, starting with the smallest one. So I'm going to take the smallest one, flip it over, and put some adhesive on the back. And that is going to slide right here at the bottom. And I'm going to let the scallops hang out over the edge of the lined paper. And I'm going to place that down. Next, I'm going to turn the page. And I have the two yellow checkered print papers. I'm going to take the next scalloped edge with the red and black print, add some adhesive to the back, and I am going to line this up at the bottom. I'm leaving just a little bit of space at the bottom just because I like the look. You can do it however you like, but if you look, those two pages now line up on top of each other. Now I'm going to take this last scalloped paper and add it to this last page, allowing it to hang out over the edge so that all three of those line up nice and neat. Now on the same page, I am also going to add this die cut tag. You're going to want to add your picture to it before you add it to the page. But we're going to take that tag and we're going to add a piece of ribbon to it. Take some time and twist it around and get it to look the way you like. Again, I'm going to take my scissors and finish off the edges of that ribbon. And then we're going to adhere this tag. to the page on top of where we put that last scalloped edge paper. And I want it to stick out the top a little bit, so I'm going to lift mine up so that when I close my book, I have my two tags lined up on top of each other, and it looks like that. So that page is complete, and now we can move on to our last page. which is this page right here. Um, the only thing we're going to add to this page is the final embellishment. And let me show you how we're going to put that together. We have this starburst cutout, and we also have one that matches in the pattern paper. We're going to add a little adhesive to the back. Whichever adhesive you want to use is fine. And we're going to line that up right on top. If you notice, you're going to have a nice chipboard edge, which gives it a nice pretty border. We also have a circle cut that is the same size as the leaf. I'm going to add a little adhesive to the back of the leaf chipboard piece. And I'm going to set that on top of the red circle. So it looks like this, and then I'm going to add this, a little adhesive to that, and I'm going to add it to the center of the starburst. A little extra glue there I'm wiping off. So when you're done, your embellishment should look like this. Now of course, the pattern paper on the inside, you had a choice. There was another color if you flipped it over. Whatever color you want to use is fine. And then we're going to take and add some adhesive to the back of that. And I'm not putting it at the top because it's going to go off the page and off the corner a bit. And I'm going to tuck it right there in the corner of the last page so that it's on there. But when the book closes, you have all of these great pieces peeking out at all the different angles. So when you are done, your book should look something like this. Of course, you have creative freedom to put it together however you like but that's how the kit's set up 
and designed a look. Now there's one last step we need to do to finish the book off, and that is to take the last piece of canvas that was included in your kit. We're going to put adhesive on the back of that canvas. And we are going to line up the back of the book directly on top of that. And I'm going to flip it over so you can see what we're doing. And if you notice, I have it lined up flush with the bottom. That way, if I want to display it on a table and set it up, it's going to set up nice and neat, and it gives the book a nice, sturdy finish. All you have left to do is to go through and add your photos and anything else you want. And that is the Autumn Canvas Kit book.